Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody here is uncomfortable. Somebody here is in the energy of, of being a little bit pressed and a little bit stressed and uneasy. I don't know if this is you or that. Yeah, ashamed. So somebody here is sorry, embarrassed, and humili humiliated. Again, I don't know if this is you, right? You know this is you, right? You know, you know your energy. You know, somebody definitely here is upset and annoyed, irritated. Somebody here is feeling humiliated, embarrassed, or someone either could have embarrassed you. You could be feeling like this about this person, or. <clears throat> That's how they're feeling about you now, about themselves. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Somebody here. Let's see. What? What? Show me more here. What this is about. All right. No. Show me more. What? What this is about. Oh, something just flipped out in reverse. Okay. So four of swords in reverse. Definitely an une uneasy feeling here. Definitely an uneasy feeling with this four of swords in reverse. Show me more. Yeah, three of swords. I'm telling you, somebody here is feeling so uneasy and, and just upset and embarrassed and uncomfortable right now. And this three of swords energy, you could be a Libra, have a Libra in your chart, or be dealing with a Libra year. <clears throat> so somebody is healing from something. There is more Libra energy with the Justice card. Someone here knows that they got to make something right with you. Or this is you just getting good karma for what was done. Yeah, look at this. This is some karmic cycle the world on the bottom of the deck. Taurus energy. <sighs> Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Let's see what else, what else this is about here. The Six of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Show, show me who this is that's missing you. Now listen, I'm going to give you, there's two, two or three, there's someone in your energy here who wants to reunite with you. They're feeling uneasy and stressed. They know um, they're either embarrassed by their behavior or you feel like this person embarrassed you and they really, really hurt you and you, they upset you and you feel uneasy about the situation and you want karmic justice. Hmm. You want somebody could have ran back to somebody else here too. Did somebody run back to somebody went and ran back towards somebody else? What is this about? The eight of swords in reverse. This is good. So now somebody is getting unstuck. That's good. The strength card, somebody, Leo energy, someone here is trying to find the strength. They're finally actually finding the strength to unstuck, like, free themselves from something. Two of Wands. And then the Four of Pentacles. Mm, somebody's holding on to something real tight here. Somebody's holding on to the past real tight. Is this you holding on to the past real tight or past events or whatever happened in the past? Spirit is saying it's time for you to let it go and free yourself. Okay, let it go and free yourself. What is this about? Some of y'all have a new beginning, with an unexpected new beginning with somebody here. I, on the bottom of the deck is the Fool, the Tower, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Some of you may have a chance in between the path. It's like you're weighing some sort of optional or you're, weighing, you're trying to decide two of pentacles, right? You're trying to decide on this energy here. You, you're trying to decide whether or not, hold on if y'all can see this, whether or not you want to take a leap of faith in a new direction with somebody new here. There we go. Or if y'all can see that. The fool, the tower, two of cups, and the, and the knight of pentacles. You're weighing this option. Hmm. Show me more about this situation, please. The Knight of Cups. You, yeah, you've got a love offer coming in here, though. Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. Whatever this new love offer is, I feel like you're gonna like it. I feel like you're gonna like it. 
Some of you guys may be meeting, and there it goes again. This fool keeps coming out. Yeah, Aries energy or Aquarius energy here. Some of you guys might be meeting somebody new at work. That's not for everybody here. Or when you're taking some form of leap of faith towards something new at work. Or like if you're going through some form of career change. Or promotion or whatever this leap of faith that you're taking in a new direction, right? I feel like you had some upset, uncomfortable energy in the past someone either humiliated you or just embarrassed you or this person feels humiliated and embarrassed by their behavior in the past but there is something new here for you so what, what what's this new energy about show me the fool you got a wish fulfillment here with the offer with the nine of cups nine of cups and the knight of cups i have the fool here so it's like you ended the cycle somewhere else. You're overcoming that battle. You got new love coming in. That's what this is, okay? The chariot is, is clarifying the fool, this cancer energy. Yeah, you guys have a new love offer coming in towards you pretty fast, too. This might include some form of travel for work or personal travel. I don't know. Either it's travel for you doing something. Maybe you're taking a class. You're doing something to improve yourself or getting some form of like certification. This could be in like a conference, a work conference, whatever it is, or you're learning something, or you're just like traveling for work here. It's like you're meeting somebody. You might even meet somebody like at a social event, maybe at a restaurant or somewhere where they sure serve drinks and food here too. A lot of drinking. Huh. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're shocking me. You're about to, I'm telling you, you are about to meet somebody unexpectedly. The tower is underneath this Ace of Cups. Wow. Show me more on this fool in the chariot. Three of Wands. More another card of travel and growth and expansion. You guys might have been working really hard at something here. And now you're seeing some form of growth and expansion. And there's a leap of faith that you're getting ready to take. Show me more about this Three of Wands. Yeah, you're getting ready to drop some form of burden here, but you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now, or when this happens, you're going to feel overwhelmed or busy. Show me more here about this Ten of Wands. This King, okay, this is a King of Wands. So this King, you could be dealing with the fire sign here. This King of Wands is the person who's having some burdens. Is feeling overwhelmed. Why is the King of Wands here? And look at what just flipped over. The Seven of Swords and the Death card. You see what I'm saying? So this, I feel like this is somebody here who you ended something with who feels humiliated, who's uneasy, who's annoyed, irrita irritated, or ashamed at their behavior here. With the Seven of, seven of Swords and this Death card. Hmm. This person wants to talk to you. Look at this shit. This person wants to talk to you. After Ten of Swords moment, right, of betrayal, somebody made a decision and they may have betrayed you as this empress, right? Show me more on this King of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah, the, the so the King of Wands is the person who is in this in retrospect, in hindsight. So this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they don't have to be. They could be a Scorpio. They could be a Cancer. They could be a Libra. They don't have to be. But like this person is all, now they're like, in hindsight, I see what I did wrong. In hindsight, I see I was arrogant. In hindsight, I see I was a fool. In hindsight, I see I was in my ego. In hindsight, I see... Like, I'm the reason this, this whole thing ended. Death card. I, my lies, my deception, my heartbreak, my betrayal. Like, this was all me. And somebody could be getting karma for that. Or they're thinking about the past. And now this person is uneasy. They can't sleep. They're uncomfortable at night. This person is tossing and turning in their bed. This person is now they're sorry because now they're reflecting on this in a low key. Like, they're sorry because they can't sleep. They're being haunted. 
Uh, somebody was ego, had an ego, honey. Had an ego with that person. Okay, Queen of Wands, getting a lot of attention here. Are you getting a lot of attention here now? Ten of Cups is on the bottom of that. You guys are getting some good news. Yeah, you guys are seen in the public eye or you're like, your energy is really great. Look at this, the Star Energy with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands. You're about to get, this Queen of Wands is getting... You're getting some form of news or communication that's something that is a gift from the divine. It's a wish fulfillment and it's going to make you very, very, very happy. It's something that you're going to be able to, some news you're going to get that you're going to want to like celebrate with your family. Some of you guys are being recognized in the public eye. I don't know if you have a platform, whatever it is that you're doing, you're being recognized for. And you have a lot of eyes on you or you get a lot of attention here. So what could be happening here is it's like, it looks like you're getting some form form of wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Fool card, right? The Chariot energy, uh, Eight of Swords, you're coming out of your head. I feel like in your healing, justice, you're getting your karmic justice and you're getting a lot of attention and you get this wish fulfillment that has nothing to do with this person and they, they're they going to have to sit back and watch the movie. They're going to have to sit back and watch the show. They're going to have to see this play out somehow, some way. And then this person is going to be like, in hindsight, oh, shit, I wish I would have never did what I did. I'm so sorry. I'm so humiliated. Or somebody else could have embarrassed and humiliated this person. I don't know. I feel like the embarrassment, the karma is for them to sit back and watch this happen without them. I don't know. They're saying it. You're not going to have any free time for this person. They're going to be like, do you have free time for me? You're going to be like, no. I'm too busy. Yeah, look. You, whoever I'm talking to, you're like very outgoing. You're very outgoing. You get a lot of attention. You're about to be super busy. Like, you do something. You're out seen in the public eye here with this outgoing and no free time. I'm telling you, yeah, this see. Yep. And you work very hard. You work very hard for everything that you have. Believe that. And, you know, <laughs> there is someone here in your energy who was literally like, it's fantasizing and dreaming about you. They can't sleep. They're tossing and turning. Like I said, whoever this person was in the past, they were emotionally unavailable when you were with them. Okay. Let me see what this is. Yeah, I'm talking to whoever I'm talking to here. You're, you are a natural born leader here, whether you know it or not. I feel like you guys have just been taking very, very good care of yourselves. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You know you're a leader. You're very strong. You stand tall. You have a lot of confidence and charisma is what I'm getting here. Uh, I feel like you may have been distracted here or do not allow this other person to come in and distract you. I don't, are you distracted or have you been feeling thrown off your game a little bit, feeling distracted for, because you're grieving from this person? If that's not the case, may, you know, some of y'all may have been thrown off your creative, your creative, like, you know, whatever it is that you do, right? You, you, you don't feel it's creative because you're going through this. Don't allow that to distract you from this. Okay. Cause you have something good coming in or this could be that person who's distracted not feeling as creative as they used to be, you know. Hmm. Some of you guys, this person, is you're dealing with a Pisces, and this person is very worried about, or you could be very worried. Yeah, somebody here I feel like is a workaholic. They work quite a bit. I'm telling you, somebody here works quite a bit. There's an age difference between you and somebody. I don't know if that's between you and the old person or you and the new person. Show me what else for the collective. So what is, yeah, disappointing. I'm telling you. Mm, somebody's disappointed and uh, having going through some financial difficulties. I don't feel like this is you collective going through any form of financial difficulties. This is somebody else who is working non-stop to get themselves out of some form of financial issue because they were irresponsible with their money. 
because responsible just came out in reverse. So what is this? Yeah, and now this person is seeking your forgiveness, and they're embarrassed and ashamed. So what? So what does this have to do with my collective? What does this have to do with my collective, please? <clears throat> this person's gonna want to come back towards you and talk to you, the, but I don't think you're want you're gonna want to hear it. Okay, I don't. I think you feel like you've heard it all before. This, yeah, you've heard it all before. This person, something about them just not being emotionally available to you, or them listening to their emotions, or deciding they didn't want to feel emotions or express emotions to you, whatever that was, collective. This person made a mistake, and they know they made a mistake. They want to come back towards you, and they're hoping that you're gonna hear them out. And they've been numbing themselves, too, for some of you guys. They've been numbing themselves. Yeah. I don't know why we're talking about this, but okay. So what is going on with this person, please? Show me more here. Yeah, somebody's definitely overindulging. Either somebody here is just... They were either selfish... They have some form of greedy tendencies or they are overdoing something. Like, they're just doing too much right now. This person here definitely was a pathological liar. I mean, this person just lies just to boost their own ego and feel very good about themselves. They definitely, even for some of y'all, could have been dealing a double life. And now this person is sitting in shame and they're embarrassed and they want your forgiveness. They're also stalking you on social media, all right? Yeah, they're lurking. Whoever this person is, they are living above their means right now. This is the second time this message has come out here. Somebody looks good, but they're broke as, they're broke as hell, okay? They don't have any money collective. They're broke. They got to work overtime. They're working overtime just to pay bills is what I'm saying. Like somebody here, if they're rocking, you know, Balenciaga, either the Balenciaga is fake or somebody else bought it or it's, they make a payment. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Somebody's in debt, going, has put themselves in debt just to look good. Somebody here could be losing their home, about to get evicted. They have really bad spending habits, I'm telling you. Yeah, whoever this person was, they lied and manipulated the situation, and, and now they're getting their karma, and they're like, oh, shit, um, they're, uh, they might, somebody may have even embarrassed this person. I don't know. You know, because this person will lie. This is the type of person who's going to lie, cheat, steal, do whatever, just to get whatever they want out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Play games with you. Play games with them. Play games with any damn body. Nobody is uh, exempt. <laughs> but but the but the but the joke is, key key key. The joke is, collected for this person, they're about to watch you get your wish fulfillment, and you're about to have all this attention, the attention that this person is seeking, that they put themselves in debt to get, because they're not an earth angel. You are the true, real earth angel, whether they know it or not. And whoever this person was, they're non-committal, lying ass, wasted your time, very superficial and narcissistic. Oh my gosh. Narcissist. Gaslighting ass, just very self-absorbed, very manipulative. Who is this? Gamble. Okay, there. So for some of y'all, the reason why this person is so dang on broke, cause they ass can't stay out of the casino. They can't stop gambling. They're gambling. Their they gambled their mortgage money, their rent money, whatever money that they were trying to do, taking too many damn risks, or they have some bad habits. I don't know. This person just they don't have a stop button. They don't know when to quit. They don't know when to just call it quits and go home. Okay, you lost that hand. Okay, I'm going to go home. No, they like, no. Double up, motherfucker. Double up. <laughs> That's the energy. Th and then there, but you. I'm sorry, spirit. Okay. So show me for my collective. Like. So show me what this has to do with my collective here. What else is my collective here today? Oh, the man holding the coin in reverse just came out. It's, I guess spirit is trying to warn you how broke this person is. I guess.
You just be patient. Spirit is telling you this past person is broke, but you just be patient for what we have to give you. Door to spirit, which is the wheel, the world, the wheel energy, right? You just be patient with what spirit has to give you. We have this Ten of Cups, which is this happy family. We have this Ten of Cups situation just waiting for you, being gifted to you, which was that Ace of Cups we saw earlier. Just be patient, collective. That's what the Spirit is telling you. Be patient. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is sit back and wait and watch and rest. Okay? Take care of yourself. Focus on you. And then, boom, this, this is the person who's upright for you, the man holding the heart. This is, this is the person that's going to give you the happy family, male or female, okay? It could be a female coming towards you for my masculines, okay? This is a, a balanced love, a strong, balanced, passionate connection with somebody, right? The yin to your yang, the balance. You make sure you're open to receiving and you're in, you have a balance in your feminine and, um, and, and masculine energy because there is some leadership... You know, and, and just because you're a leader, I feel like you're so successful and you get so much attention that make sure you're just, you have an equal balance on your divine masculine and divine feminine energy, meaning you're not too much in your divine masculine energy when this person comes in. You, I know you want to be loved and this person, that the new person coming in wants to love you, uh, you know, but you can't be in this masculine ass energy is this person trying to rub up on you and love up on you through your heart okay through your heart anyway so yeah i just know that you there's somebody else here over here playing okay and sorry and feeling ashamed and embarrassed and they were narcissistic as hell and, and they love to look nice on the outside but they don't have any nothing to, you know pop the piss in Mm -hmm. I don't know. Pray for him. Okay, we're going to pray for him. I love y'all. Um, we'll see you later. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Join